Hello guys, Beast here, and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to remove the background from your image. So, for example, I have a lot of examples that I have on my desktop, so let's start with this one. Let's open this image with paint.net. As you can see, there is a desktop background, right? And we want to remove that, and we only want to leave the flower. So what you can do is just press here on the magic wand and if you click let's say on the white color as you can see it just selects all the white color. What we need to do is to remove the background right. So what we do is we click let's say on this color here and all you need to do is press delete on your keyboard. See how simple it is. Now there is of course difference between the colors so we need to remove, remove the whole colors. If I press on this one as you can see it takes some of the flower and we don't want that so we need to play with the tolerance right here. Yeah if I put it at 34 as you can see there's still some parts that is being taken off so let's put it a little bit lower 27, 20, 32 30 yeah but still some of the flower is being taken 26 is still 24 yeah I think this is the color I'm choosing so it won't take yeah that's good uh, here we are taking some of the flower so let's do it like that and here I can even make it 34 because I didn't take anything from the flower yeah it's working now we need to put less 24 looks fine no actually okay right now as you can see i took some of the flowers so what i want to do is to undo by pressing here or Control z on your keyboard let's make it um yeah this looks better let's delete this one this one this one actually let's put it a bit higher yeah this looks better 23 is fine here 23 is fine here let's remove this color actually we can put it higher yeah you see you just keep playing with the tolerance and you press wherever you whatever you want to remove okay 31 is fine here 31 is fine here yeah look look it started to look beautiful actually what I didn't notice that I've took uh, some of the flower green thing wait let me go back this is something important that you want to do of course if you don't care about it that's fine you can do it this way but just let me show you I'm not gonna repeat the whole process you got the thing but but okay let's say we don't want to take this off right we want to keep it with the flower so what I can do is look 31 here 31 you see now it it, it takes some of it so what you can do to keep the root of the flower you see 22 is fine it seems fine yeah so we can do that look at that now we took it so no we don't want to do that yeah it seems like a, a very close colors you see now I'm taking it and it looks beautiful you see see how easy it is just keep pressing whatever you want to remove this one we took some of the root we don't want that so we put it 20 and you see it's very easy actually look at that so you keep deleting until you have the image you want now let's move to another image and see what happens okay let's go to I, I want to show you different stuff so you you could know in which situation what to do in each situation let's take a harder situation for example which is this one let's say okay let's open this one with paint.net okay as you can see it's very very close colors and let's say I want to take this circle out and I want to leave the background just a transparent I don't want people or I want I don't want to use the background maybe I want to put this image on something different something else so let's start by taking the magic wand and as you can see look at that okay maybe we put less uh, tolerance but still look at it it's not that good can you see that it's very 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 hard to play with like let's delete that but you see now it's very hard to remove it so what you can do is just 
select a circle that you want you see uh, or the shape you want i mean in in my case i want the circle and now what you can do is you can okay let me wait undo the work okay so what we want now by the way you you press on this one to select everything what i want is i want to take the circle right so in order to do that what you do is you press and but, but but if you keep if you keep it that way it's very hard to make it a circle so what you do is you keep holding the shift shift button and look at that it it stays circle and now what you can do is put it around your circle that way look at that and if i crop it look this one is to crop the image you want look at that look how beautiful it's just a circle and by the way, let me show you something else in case you missed it. In, in my case, I could, like from my first try, I could just uh, surround it with, with, with this crop thingy. But what you can do is choose this one, you see now, and now you can move the circle wherever you want. If you let me show you what the other the other selector does uh, it takes the image out and that's not what we want to what we want to is we want to adjust it the way we, we want like that for example and then you can crop it and look it's so beautiful and the way you want it and last but not least I want to show you the hardest thing you can do which I found an image of me when I was graduating and look how hard it is let's say i want to take off myself out of this photo now the problem with this is that look we all have the same clothes we all have the same colors because you know we were being graduated and none of us has different colors so you can't use the magic wand and of course you can't use any shape from here because look we don't have a human shape or you know so what you can do is choose this one which will make it easier for you or not easier but you can like draw it let me show you an example just pretty fast look at that now you see and now i take it off like that and i got it like that you see that um of course you can zoom in to make it even wait a second to make it to make it easier for you like let's do it like that you see now I'm taking off myself and let's say okay uh, I, I, I'm not gonna do the whole image in front of you right now but I just want to show you something some something very important actually which is how to save it when you save it make sure to save it you see now it's jpeg type right and that's not good for transparency if you want to make it transparent you have to save it as png file if you don't do that you won't be able to save it that way so if you want transparency you have to save it as png don't forget that it's very important now let me show you what i did with this photo like the end result <clears throat> which is right here look at that look how beautiful it is i just of course you have to spend some time on it to in order to do it that way but look at the end result look at that it looks so good that, like i've made it maybe it took me 20 minutes or so but it's worth it because i've got what i need and it's free software as i've said before if you didn't watch the previous video make sure to do that because like how to download and install the pen.net it's free it's not as good as Photoshop as I've said before, but it's way better than Paint that comes here with the PC. This, that every Windows have it, but... And by the way, with Paint, this one you can't make PNG, like you can't remove the background. Like Windows, I'm not sure if there is some uh, updates that made it possible with Paint, but with Paint.net, you, of course you can do that. You can save it actually a lot of, types you can choose whatever type you want look how many types we've got bmp which is of course allowed on youtube as well a jpeg png even gif image you have tip and a lot more so with paint.net it gives you a lot of options to save it and i think that's it for the tutorial i hope i helped you how to remove the background from any image you want and i can't wait to hear your success see ya if you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up.
And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. See ya.